Hey everybody, Baron Dome here. Uh, today I want to show you my AF Cable cow and sheep breeder and cooker. Uh, last couple of days I've been looking up a lot of videos online on how various other people have made their own cow breeders and things like that. And I came across a couple that I liked their ideas, but I didn't like how they were implemented and I wanted to do something completely different. So one of the things I found was uh, what you're looking at right now is Tango Tech's idea for his cow breeder. And the uh, it's a really good idea. It's you know you can it's automatic. You can turn it on. You can feed your cows. The little babies will eventually spit out. There they are, right there. And he's got four sections for cows. You can breed them all. They all go down to this water pit. And eventually they'll they'll come up here. It's a little baby cow elevator. They go in here. And then they pop down here and they'll just wait till they grow up. And he's got selectors for, you know, cooking raw, automatic, and uh, kill them yourself kind of a thing. Which is really cool and all. But I was like, I like completely AF cable. I don't want to do as anything that I don't have to do. So I started toying with his, what he created. And I, uh, I bastardized it and made this. So forgive the looks for right now, but I, I will show you this, and I'll actually take you into my world where I've actually refined it and made it look a lot better. So I took away two of the breeding cells because I don't want to have to move. I want to just be able to set a key to like right-click and feed the cows and not do anything else. So I got rid of two of the sections. Uh, so here's one of the cows right here, and I replaced the other cows with sheep since you can breed sheep and cows with wheat. And I've got this rail system right here. It's already powered with one power rail on each side. And I have, this is a uh, dropper with an activator rail. And underneath the active, or actually underneath this dropper is another dropper. It's basically, um, uh, like I've done with like uh, the fishing farm, things that automatically give you fishing rods or give you uh, cobblestone or pickaxes uh, as they go over it. So the, the detector rail is going to detect the cart that goes back and forth. It's going to spit out one piece of wheat as you go past and you're going to pick it up. If you are full of wheat uh, under here are hoppers and it'll just refeed into the, the hopper no problem. And what you can do is the cart's going to go back and forth. You just right click. You're going to feed the cows. You're going to feed the sheep and it's just going to go back and forth, back and forth really cool so I'm gonna and well actually before I turn it on I actually made a change to the uh, kill mechanism uh, it's on a timer now so when you first turn the system on it's gonna quickly do a, a lava shoot and then uh, depending on how long you put or how much you put into the timer uh, it did four stacks and it averaged about three minutes and you can do five stacks and give you four and a half minutes so, uh, but babies, it takes 20 minutes to grow up, and I didn't want a, a 20 minute timer because you're going to be breeding every five minutes. So, there's going to be, after 20 minutes, every five minutes, a new set of babies is going to grow up. So, at most, you don't want your timer going more than five minutes. So, uh, that basic timer, four and a half minutes is the max you can do with it. So, let me show you real quick. There's already a bunch of uh, wheat in here. So basically, you just get in. So the, the dropper is gonna spit out a one wheat to you, and I'm just right-clicking as I pass the animals. Actually, I've got to turn it on. That way, they're jumping. So that way, you can feed them, and that way, you're gonna get cows and sheep all into the same section. So after you're done feeding them for a little bit. Alright, so here comes the babies. I want to turn that off just in case the lava blade shoots out. So here comes the babies. They're all going to congregate together. They'll eventually stop and stop jumping around like idiots. Alright. So 
eventually the timer is going to go off. You're going to get a double pulse. First one's going to shoot the lava out, and then after a short delay, it's going to retract the lava. And then all of your collectibles go right in here. So it's kind of a, a really uh, Frankenstein creation right here. But let's go into my world and I can show you uh, the final creation for what I have here. Okay, so we're in my test world now. And let me show you, uh, after putting all those ideas together, what I was able to make. So it's the basic same setup. Uh, what I did is I widened the the area for the animals by two because as you're going back and forth uh, you can actually get a lot more uh, clicks on the cows and the, the sheep as you go across. I used the one power grail because with one it goes pretty slow back and forth. So see how I've got time. So see how you're going back and forth really kind of slow. I've got time to breed each of the animals. Okay, so the on switch is here. It starts the animals bobbing. Just like that. And the lava blade will eventually shoot out. Let's go. Oh, let me get the car out again. So let me go show you the back side, if I can get out. Okay, so. Here's where the cows, or actually where the sheep are. So it's just one uh, dispenser of water. And it pretty much, I thought it was going to make them flow all into one direction, but actually they surprisingly just stay pumped up like that and same with the cows just like that so as they bred they'll all fall down to the central canal where they'll then ride the elevator up and they'll go they actually turn here and they'll drop down Let's just do that. It makes it easier. So that way that you can see them right in front of you. So I like to be able to just go back and forth and just see them. Like that. Turn that off so it stops them bouncing. And then uh, eventually once they get killed, all their drops actually come into a chest right over here. Or you could actually set it a chest right here and have the dropper or have the, the hopper come right into it right here. Or you can even set it up to go to an auto sorting system so you don't even see it in here. As for the, the wheat, uh, you could put your wheat in here. It'll, there's a hopper below here. Let me show you. So right under there is the, ch uh, or above there is the chest. Hopper goes into there. To the dropper, dropper goes up into another dropper. And if it doesn't, if you don't pick it up, the hopper chain will bring it right back into the dispenser. And uh, I saw this on a cruise production where he actually set it up to uh, come from an automatic wheat farm. So you can set this up so right from here it goes right from an automatic wheat farm. So that way you never have to actually refill this. It just automatically fills itself. So let me show you this one in action real quick. Uh, turn it on. So as I go over the detector rail, it's going to spit out one piece of wheat. And probably the best way to start this off would be to uh, you know, have a stack of wheat on you. That way you can breed a bunch right off the back. But then after they're all bred, uh, it's going to continually feed you wheat in preparation after five minutes where you can start breeding next round again.
Now at this point you can keep going. You're just going to continually feed uh, the cows and the sh and the sheep. Now that's that's the only downside to this whole thing is because it's based on a timer that the the lava blade sometimes will shoot out while the babies are coming out, which is no big deal because if you're AFKing for hours, uh, one or two loss of a cow or sheep is not that big of a deal. So they're going to sit in here for about 20 minutes, and at that point they're going to grow up, and then that's when we're going to, uh, the lava blade's going to be able to kill the adults, and we'll be able to pick up their drops. And then once the babies grow up, they're adults, and then we just got to wait for the lava blade to hit them. Okay, and the lava blade is quick enough that it doesn't burn up any of the drops. Now all we gotta do, let me turn this off real quick. Now what we gotta do is just wait for the drops to come in, and then there you go. Now for the sheep, you could set it up where it's just white sheep. That way you only get white wool, and later on you can dye it. Or you could throw in a bunch of different color sheep, breed them, and whatever comes out what comes out. Uh, like you see here, I've got white. Uh, what is it? light gray, gray, black, brown, and then you get all the cooked uh, meats, mutton, steak, and then leather too. Uh, let me do a quick fly around outside so I can show you uh, the whole setup. So right here is the switch, and it comes out here. It separates it into two areas. One is for the uh, dispensers of water at the bottom, and the other is for the timer for the lava blade. So let me show you this real quick. This is the hardest thing for me to understand. I'm not a big uh, knowledgeable person with redstone so this took a while to use the lever to uh, turn on dispensers and then uh, return them on again so it uh, retracts the water so I had to you do this little contraption here with the sticky piston and redstone that way it like it's got this one on but when it moves it quickly turns off and then turns back on like a pulse to uh, uh, extract the water and re-pull it out so let me just fly onto here. Uh, this redstone torch is for the uh, powered rail underneath. And this just extends the line all the way to the other end. And here's another redstone for the powered rail underneath. Okay, and for the timer, come over here. Now here's the thing. So here's the standard hopper timer. Uh, I would suggest putting in four stacks, four to five stacks. Uh, fully of some junk block in there to do the time. So what you're going to do is uh, pick a corner, doesn't matter which corner, this one or that one, but you get both of these have to go out of the same corner. So from the, the lever, you're going to go into this block, and then out of the block where the redstone torch is the, the line to the dispenser. So you're going to have it one going in, uh, one delay right into it, or actually you could just have strictly redstone right into it. And then off the other way, you can have a full delay and then one extra delay. That way it pulses once to get the lava out, and then uh, after a split second, it's going to pulse again to pull the lava out. That way uh, none of your drops get burnt up. Now I'm just going to fly around just so you can see the whole setup. No delay there. Uh, these are both sticky pistons. Okay guys, thanks again for watching my AFK cow and sheep breeder farm. Uh, if you have any questions, send me a message and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Catch you guys later.